The um, importance of this study is that in Michigan, a farm success succession study had never been conducted. So this is the first in the state. And the um, reason was that for years, people have been very concerned about farmers and farmers leaving farming and do, do they have heirs? What would happen with that land? We um, interviewed, um, sent out 1,500 surveys, and we got a response rate of nearly 52%. And we um, stratified looking at small farms, mid-scale farms, and large farms. And we got a, over a 50% response rate from each of those, which made the study very significantly um, um, reliable. And we collected it based on who's the operator, a, a description of their operations, so it's by dairy or livestock or diversified, and uh, and um, we looked at what their retirement plans were and then their farm succession plans. That data is available by the state, but we can also isolate it by regions of the state. So it, it's very helpful to, to local regions. And what we found is that we have a significant number of um, small-scale farms, that's the predominant, 63 percent of farms in Michigan are small farms. And that is also those owners or operators of those small farms have a high number of farmers over the age of 65. So those are the farmers that are going to be retiring over the next five and ten years. And that's also the significant no amount of land that's being farmed that's also going to be turning over because a substantial number of those farmers do not have heirs that will continue farming. So you have a high number of, of farmers over the age of 65 and a, high, a, a, a significant portion of those who don't have heirs. So that's really important as our governor and legislature are putting more into our you know, kind of annual budget um, to kind of spur Michi Michigan's economy in agriculture and kind of regional food systems. So a key question is, who's going to be farming in Michigan? In our region, in the Northwest Michigan area, um, the um, Grand Travers uh, Regional Land Conservancy and the Leelanau Conservancy have been involved in um, purchasing um, uh, development rights um, with, in conjunction with farmers in the hopes that that land would continue in um, perpetuity to be farmed. And um, when we first put this study together, our findings together, we, we sent it out initially to get reactions from those folks that are doing um, training with farmers, with new farmers, and, and, the, and the land piece as well. And they were extremely excited that they had this data because it really supported what they were already trying to um, share with you know, investors and, and others who are really interested in, in keeping farmland alive. So they have, um, what they are putting together, what they've been putting together over the last few years are business models for more mid-scale farms to show um, how these farm, farm easements have really helped these farmers and um, businesses have been saying this is fantastic for them because they know that that land is going to be um, farmed. And so especially for people that are doing the processing and, and that kind of thing, it means that that farmland is going to be viable. And so th those are good business relationships in the future. But also on a policy level, they can go back now to the Le Michigan legislature and say, wow, look at these programs are working. And here is some concrete data that shows that over the next 10 years, there's really going to be a shift. Farmers are retiring. We have um, like 40% of farmers over the 65 years old are going to be retiring in the next 10 years. That's significant in Michigan. And as we're trying to grow our economy in, in agriculture, we're looking at, so who is going to farm?